Hello, 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 and welcome to another offshoot, offshoot, I'm calling the series Deep Cuts, uh, but again, all of this will be in the offshoot um, playlist. My name is Lauren Brene, and I have a 400 hour simming goal, and I do challenges and remodels and character developments and such using the sims to meet a 400 hour simming goal that I have. All of that is based on how much money I've actually spent on games for The Sims 4. Um, so this is uh, Bao's office. And again, I was very excited to try something new aesthetically with this build. So I upgraded Bao to a B-lister. I don't know if it's officially B-lister, but I moved his skills up to B-lister. Okay. Um, and what I like most about this particular room, um, besides how well it came together, is that I actually created CC um, for the first time with this build. I wanted to establish that Bao was very much into film and he had particular uh, black actors careers that he was trying to mimic. So I chose... Um, Eddie Murphy, Samuel Jackson, Samuel L. Jackson, and uh, who was the third person? Oh, and Spike Lee as a director. So um, you'll see um, eventually that I um, I put up uh, a bunch of pictures and such that um, match the aesthetic of of the room, but they are classic black films except for. Um, I did choose films I liked, let's be honest. Um, Long Kiss Goodnight. I don't think that's the name of the movie. I always confuse the Samuel Jackson movie, Long Kiss Goodnight, and the one he did with Sandra Bullock. And I don't know if those are the same, but you'll see the poster eventually. Um, but I put in the Samuel Jackson movie. Um, I put in Pulp Fiction. And um, again, you'll see which ones at the end. But it was very cool for me to have some time and to see how difficult it is to make CC. Um, and it's more time consuming than difficult for this particular kind of CC. But I'm also very proficient and I've been using Photoshop and a bunch of different online editing resources uh, for years now. So it's probably simpler for me just because I've already got the Photoshop part out of the way. Um, and everything else is just about being particular. So this is the um, base game frame that I use, the one that looks like a superhero chest that I use to make the CC for this room. Um, but I was very proud of it, I was very excited. I do hate that you can't see it with the walls down. That is like my biggest qualm with The Sims 4. It's like, I just wanna see all the pretty things that I did. I put effort into this, guys. So, um, but at least you'll be able to see it here. Um, we were on uh, the third category of, oh yeah, so here it is. Vampire um, in Brooklyn, classic black film. Excellent film, Eve's Bayou, also excellent. All of these are excellent films. Like if you've never watched these films, go and watch those films. Um, they they really are worth a watch. Um, incredible cinema. All right, so again, we are reading from our um, Icebreaker Starter Pack from Be Best Self. Best Self is the company. Icebreaker Starter Pack is the name of the card people. <laughs> And this is not sponsored. This is just something that um, I find interesting and I like doing conversation cards. Um, so the next category is deep. Now, I don't know how deep this is gonna go, depending on, I may or may not skip that section because deep is always one of those, I don't wanna say scary categories, but it's not one of those things you share with the world. So let's go with this one. It says, let's not use that one. That was nobody's business either. Um, what's one thing you did that you wish you could go back and undo? What's one thing you did that you wish you could go back and undo? Okay, that's a very interesting question. And one thing I've done that I wish I could go back and undo, undo. Um, I think if anything, I would go back and undo all the negative self self talk that I've uh, learned to. Um, to just naturally do like if I could change all the negative self-talk that I've had over 
over the years of life <laughs> if I could remind myself um, that things take time and things get better with time and that things move um, I hate the cliche of things happen for a reason and things happen as they should um, because I do believe there are things in life that are unnecessary and that should never have been you know people should never have to experience um, but I do think that if I would, would go back and undo anything, it would be, I would make my voice more supportive of like my choices and I would believe in myself more and I would take consideration in the fact, you know, that I am, whenever I make a move or make a choice, I am usually going into it blind. And by blind, I mean, I don't have a reference point of people I know who've already done it or I don't have people who understand why I will want to do something. And so because of that, I took that as in, oh, this is a wrong choice or this is a bad choice. Or when things went, when things didn't go to plan, I would just make it about me as a person instead of making it about the situation. And I think uh, one of my favorite, I think it was from a fortune cookie. <laughs> I think it's actually for, from a fortune cookie, but I think one of my favorite uh, things to remember is that um, you are not your mistakes and uh, it was so much it was said so much more beautifully on the fortune cookie because I'm quite sure it's a fortune cookie but it, it was saying something like stop treating yourself as though you're the mistakes you make right and I think that's very important and very uh, crucial to to existing in in life and no matter what your medium no matter what your your career path or your family background or all of that it's important to remember that you're not the mistakes you make I think that mistakes uh, reveal you to yourself and I think that mistakes help you decide who it is you want to be as a person because most people who experience something that feels like a mistake, um, sometimes in hindsight, but most times when, when you feel like something was a mistake, it was a, a character, a character value that maybe you were following a trend and that trend wasn't really true to who you are. You know, like you were trying to make your life easier by, by following a certain set of rules or a, set, a certain set of, um, preconceived notions of how your life would flow and sometimes following your rules actually is the mistake and sometimes breaking rules is the mistake so I, it's I just think it's important to remember that you are not the mistakes you make but you are responsible for your actions so I think a lot of people um, talk about intent um, intention versus impact and it is one of those I don't want to say difficult, but it is something you have to handle with care. Um, your intention of something and the impact, the impact will always be uh, more important because the impact is the thing that uh, came into fruition. So you hurting someone when someone's feelings unintentionally is, um, is a hard pill to swallow. And I believe that everyone's feelings are valid, even though they may not be the truth. I think acknowledging a person's feelings um, and letting people feel validated by the fact I understand how you're feeling, or even if you don't understand, um, but acknowledging what it is you think a person experienced and having them confirm or deny it makes a big difference in relationship building. Um, so maybe, the, okay, again, who cares? I was going to say, this is supposed to be free thought and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to explain it anymore. If you've been here, you know what it is. I ramble and I enjoy it. <laughs> but I think that, okay, for this particular part of uh, the video, I will say that my thoughts on Bao's personality at this point in his career in this semisphere is that he loves his baby. Okay. He is going to have his toddler's stuff everywhere if it's if he can have that baby around him 24 7 he is going to have his baby around him so every room is going to have the baby's presence the baby's um 
involvement so Ba wants his baby involved in every aspect of his life and so you'll see things that are very childlike in his office in the kitchen he's very much like a dedicated father um, he loved the relationship with his mom Aveda so he wants to build that relationship with with his uh, children adopted or otherwise so um, again uh, <laughs> this is uh, just a deep cut it's it's I really enjoy making these videos. I really enjoy doing the um, the interior design and just playing with different things and such. These pillows give me a run for my money. It's always something in these rooms that make me like, oh, I spent way too much time on it. But yeah, back to uh, the card, which says, is there anything in life that, uh, I think that's what I said. Lord, I put it back. See, leave your cards out, guys. The deep questions are good, though. What's one thing you did that you wish you could go back and undo? Yeah, I went philosophical instead of literal just because, again, the internet is a wild place. Um, I think if there is anything physical that, you know, that I would change, I think I would have been a better friend to um, to a couple of people. I think I would have been a, a much better friend. I would have been more present for a few people. I would have kept contact and, and built and built uh, deeper, more meaning relationships, but I also understand where I was at that time and what I could and couldn't handle. So, um, therapy's great guys, get into it. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, let, I, I, I know it's a deep question, so feel free to pass on putting down your thoughts in the comments, just, just because it is a deep question, but I, I, um, challenge you to take this question and ask somebody you trust or ask somebody that um, you really want to connect deeper with um, what's something that they would have um, changed uh, from their experience in the past and, and see what kind of conversation space it leads you into rugs man rugs <laughs> rugs rugs be rugs be just be giving me the business I do hope that um while you're listening you're enjoying the conversations and um enjoying learning a little bit about me um and yeah i really am proud of his office uh i'm going to i keep telling myself i'm going to upload this to the gallery um i want to say that i will i will link my cc in the in the um my bobbin the thingy my bobbin i am going to have to make some more because there's a lot of um black actresses and black uh female directors that i really admire who i want to make posters for for their films um so i'll definitely be adding that to the ccf may it just takes about four hours uh to 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 make these um we're reaching the end here i hope that you've enjoyed this this uh yeah i hope that you've enjoyed this i've been lauren Brene. i hope that you've been entertained drink you some water eat you some good old food today and may love and light guide you always i'm out <laughs>